So I'm here at the annual meeting of the North American Menopause Society, and I am speaking with... Dr. Anita Kelsey. And you are? I'm a cardiologist, and I work at St. Francis Hospital in Hartford, Connecticut. Awesome. And I just heard a fabulous discussion from you about women in heart disease, who should get tested, and what do they test? So first of all, let me just ask you a simple question. How big a deal is heart disease in women? Oh, heart disease is very important in women. It accounts for one-third of all deaths of women, and for women, it's a more important problem than we recognize in the United States, unfortunately, by ourselves and as a healthcare community. How about compared to heart to breast cancer? Women are so worried about breast cancer. How big a deal is heart disease versus breast cancer? Women are much more likely to die or suffer lifelong consequences from heart attack, stroke, or congestive heart failure than they are to die from breast cancer. We do a very good job alerting women about the uh, risk of breast cancer and uh, mammography and breast exams, but we don't do as good a job recommending that women get screened for cardiovascular disease. So who should be screened for heart disease and how would you know you're supposed to do it? So every woman over the age of 20 should be getting screened for cardiovascular risk factors mm -hmm. and evaluated on a three to five year basis after that time. If a woman already has risk factors, she needs to reduce those risk factors if we're gonna have any chance of impacting heart disease in women. Can you give us a, an idea of what the major risk factors are? Absolutely, so high blood pressure, smoking, physical inactivity, um, a, a diet that's not loaded with fruits and vegetables, um, high cholesterol, so high lipid profile. And what constitutes high blood pressure? So, it's a complicated answer. Mm -hmm. But generally, it's considered normal if your blood pressure is less than 120 over 80. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it's above that, it is not normal. Now, we normally don't treat it with medications until it's over 140 systolic. But I think that in that range between 120 and 140, we should be cautious and be starting to do things to reduce blood pressure. What testing or what evaluations should be done to, uh, for women, what should they talk to their doctors or healthcare providers about? So in 2013, we came up at the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association with a risk assessment tool that is mm -hmm. available to anyone who's interested, both patients and clinicians, on an app or on the web. And it's the ASCVD risk calculator. ASCVD risk calculator. Easier for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I recommend that uh, women empower themselves to know their risk factors so that they have a better chance of preventing heart disease in their lifetime. So if you're a woman, you should get this risk calculator, put it on your phone, and you should know the numbers that are required to put into it, like your cholesterol numbers, your blood pressure number, and of course it asks age and things that you definitely know, even though we don't like to tell people what they right. are. Right, <laughs> exactly. And um, so it starts at 20, being mindful of it. At menopause, are there any particular things that uh, stick out at that point in time? In the men perimenopausal period, a woman's risk increases, in part because of loss of estrogen, but in part because of all of the other changes. So with loss of estrogen, our lipid profile gets, uh, it, it, every, every cholesterol marker gets uh, inappropriately elevated or decreased. So our HDL goes down, that's the good cholesterol that we want high. Less of the good stuff and more, more of the, the bad, bad stuff. stuff. Exactly, triglycerides, LDL, and total cholesterol go up. Our, our body mass index might go up and we might have a, a little bigger struggle to maintain our body weight, but it just, from my perspective, gives an opportunity to increase our exercise even more and reduce our risk even more. Any other final points you'd like to make? So I think that all women should know their numbers and uh, should look into their risk and talk to their doctor about these things. And I remind women to do all the things that we know keep us healthy. You know, eat a healthy diet, exercise every day. Thank you very much. Thank you.